Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to try out a Windows 11 simulator. That's right. As you know, unless you are at this point in time willing to be a Windows Insider and beta test it, it's really not an option for the majority of people out there. So let's take a look at how you can use this simulator. It's actually pretty easy. You just want to open up this website right here. So just pop a new tab. Do window, or I'm sorry, win11.blueedge, one word, dot me. Or look in the video description for a link here. And just click this link or click on the picture. It's actually very, very fast. This is what it looks like. And of course, there are some limitations. Obviously, you can't use it like you would use your own operating system. But it does give you a chance to kick the tires a little bit. For example, just check anything. And see if I double click nothing happens file explorer isn't working bear with me I'm not off to a good start Microsoft Store some pretty basic stuff you can start edge and you can browse the web you see it's pretty quick github for the project page and probably the one area you want to look at is the start menu. Now apparently this guy's developing a puzzle game called Unscape, Uniscape. Apparently a puzzle game, so he's letting you sign up here to find out when the game's going to be released. And that's about the only thing on here that has anything to do with marketing or advertising or anything like that. So it's pretty minor. So where I would go would be to over here the start menu. And you can click start and see what you can play with. So, as you can see, nothing happens. I know Terminal works in one spot, which is weird. See that? It highlights. So, there's Terminal. And you can search, I believe. Yep. Settings does not open. File Explorer you saw opened. Edge, Microsoft Store. So, you can kind of browse around here. You can open the calendar. So, not a lot you can do, but at least in my opinion, for most people... It gives you a chance to kick the tires a little bit. Now, on Notepad, I had to double-click it. Some stuff, it opens on a single click, as you saw. So you just have to click around and see what works. As you can see, not everything. Oh, there we go. Double-click here, single-click there. It could use a little work. So let me try that again. Feel free to play around. Let's try Photos. Double-click, nothing. I know Twitter was working. Not a big deal. And Word? No. Calendar I thought worked. Works from over here. But you know, nothing super, super exciting. But just to give you a chance where you can say, hey, I can look around, see how I like this taskbar, which is honestly getting the most attention of Windows 11 because they moved it here. And you can so far move it up here, but not to the sides yet. So Either way, it gives you a chance to just kick the tires a little bit. You can try all apps to see what runs, what doesn't. Feedback, not a lot. But, oh no, Groove Music doesn't work. And just browse around and see what works. Now, what I've read is still developing as time goes on. And he wants to do other things with it. So we're hoping that there'll be more. So maybe by the time you see this video or down the road, just bookmark it and stop back later and it gives you an opportunity to just kick the tires and that's I can't say enough that's about it you're just gonna kick the tires a little bit so there you have it there's a pretty neat little way to try out Windows 11 just get a feel for it and we got some other links in here including when running Windows 95 is a portable app which is cool running Apple 2 old school and of course I don't know if you remember the old fake but fun Windows 93.net that was kinda silly but it was pretty popular for a while <laughs> Eh, give you something to do. There you go. Something to do on a day when you're bored. And there you have it. Here's how you can kind of try out Windows 11 with the Windows 11 simulator or emulator. And there you have it. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.